Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada and today's episode is all about Google Keep. So whether you're an expert or you've never used it before, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this awesome Google app. And I'm going to show you how I use this to help my students stay organized. So if you purchased my Ditch That Planner Get Organized with Google presentation, you'll actually be able to follow along as this video will go in order. But if you don't have the presentation, this video is still going to show you everything you need to know about Google Keep. So let's start with what you can do with Google Keep. You can add notes, lists, and photos. You can record audio messages. You can share and collaborate notes. You can create labels and color code to organize them. You can set reminders. Uh, it works on your computers and cell phones. So we're gonna go through all that today, but we're gonna start at the very beginning, which is taking a note. So this is your Keep dashboard. And to take a note, you just simply click up here in this box that says take a note and you can create whatever it is you want. There's a place for a title, and then you can also write a message. So we'll do a, um, an example one. So you might wanna remind yourself that you have to plan tomorrow's lesson. So we will just write plan tomorrow's lesson, and then for the note, we'll just put math. Now, once you have already typed in your note, you can add a reminder. And this is one of my favorite things because it's one thing to create the note, but then I also need the reminder later because by the time you get home, uh, you've forgotten, or by the time you get home, you put the kids to bed or you do soccer practice or whatever it is you have going on in your life. So if you click on remind me, it'll allow you to choose one of the default ones, which is like later today, tomorrow, or next week, or you can pick a date and time. And if you uh, create a date and time, what it will do is it will add it to your Google Calendar. Um, so if we were going to say today's date, September 4th at 7 p.m., again, you can have it repeat if you wanted it to, if this was something you knew you were going to have to do over and over. Um, so let's just save that. And so now when I go to my Google Calendar, you can see I've got a reminder to plan tomorrow's lesson. And of course, I can go in and I can edit that if I wanted to. Uh, but I love that functionality. It puts it right on your calendar for you. Uh, now, one of the other options you can do is if you didn't want to put a time reminder, you can put a proximity reminder. So when you click on the little bell here that says remind me, you can choose pick a place. And what this will do, once you allow it to use your location setting, uh, I can choose a location. So I could say when I go to the town library or when I go to the store, when I get home, I want to set an alert. So for now, we'll just pick the school that I work at, Ellington High School. And now, if I was to save this, when I get to my building, it's going to send a little reminder that says plan tomorrow's lesson. So this is incredibly useful uh, for many different reasons. You can have your students set a reminder that when they get home, they have to do their homework. So they put it in their keep, they put the home, their home address in there, and then when they get home, they will actually get a little reminder that says you gotta do your homework. So lots of different options for kids here. And again, I always try to get my students using the Google Calendar. So whether they were to create the keep or just put it right in their calendar, uh, it's really useful, especially if they add it on their mobile phone so they have this at home. Uh, they don't have to worry about forgetting their planner or agenda or whatever. They've got everything with them. Now, another nice feature about Google Keep is that you can add a collaborator. So I can add uh, students. I can add other teachers. I could add coaches. Uh, whatever it is, the students can create one and they can add you. And once they create that or share it, or once you share, it, it'll end up in the other person's keep dashboard. So if I was to share this with somebody, when they go in, they will see this keep. You can also choose different colors. Now I admit I'm a little geeky when it comes to color coding things. I just like to do that personally, but it serves a couple functions with your note. Um, because not only will the color make it stand out, but now if I go into search, I can search by the color notes I have. So if I was to look at orange, there's the note I just created. Um, now I tell my students, I try to get them to color code by subject. Uh, that's just a personal thing for me. But I tell them if they create all their math as yellow and all their science as green and all their social studies as blue, uh, it just gives them some different options for when they go through and find their notes later, uh, whether they do it through the search or they're just scrolling through their dashboard. Speaking of color coding, I'm going to share this extra little bonus with you guys. Um, I always tell my students to color code their folders, you know, create a folder for each class, 
color code it. But at the beginning of the year, what I tell them to do is create a new folder and I just have them call it old files. So even if previously your student comes in and they have hundreds of files in their Google Drive, I tell them create a folder called old files and then just click and on uh, the first document, hold down shift, go to the last one, and then just click and drag all of that stuff into old files. I'm not gonna do it now, but um, then what will happen is the next time they go into their drive, it's gonna be clean, so it's like a clean slate. It's just a great organizational tool to help kids get started for the beginning of the school year. So another thing you can do with Google Keep is you can add images to your note. So on the bottom here, there's a little icon that has a picture. If you click on that, it says add image. So I just found an image that was on my desktop. Uh, you can also take them right from your Google Drive. Another really cool thing that Google Keep allows you to do is if you click on these three dots that say more, you can grab image text. And what Google Keep will do is it's gonna take the text it sees in the picture and it's gonna add it into your Keep. So now when I scroll down, you can see in my note, it's transcribed that picture. Uh, you will notice that it says, you know, mathematics is not about, and then the word numbers is a little messed up. Uh, and that's okay, it's not perfect, but it does a really great job because it gets the whole rest of it uh, correct. It says mathematics is not about numbers, equations, computation, or algorithms, it's about understanding. Um, and so it's taken that picture and it's found the text within it and put it into my keep. Another really neat function, especially if you have a touch screen computer, is you can go to add drawing. Again, that's in the more section and you go to add drawing. So if you have a touch screen, especially if you have a stylus, you can write notes right into your drawing section. And if you prefer, you can give it so that it gives you rules or squares. You can do dots if that helps you. Uh, we'll put the rules on for now. And I'm using my mouse, so it's not gonna be very neat. So now I'm gonna do the best I can with my mouse, but I know some people prefer to use the stylus or if they have one of the laptops that turns into a tablet that they can write on. Uh, they find that writing uh, is quicker for them than typing. So you could write out pages and pages of notes here. And when you go back into your keep, you'll see all of your notes right here. Now you can take that drawing that you did and you can actually grab image uh, text from that as well. And you'll see when I go down, it has the word cat there. So if I had written out all that stuff by hand, that would also be there. Now, one of the ways that I like to stay organized with my keep is by adding labels. So under more, you can add a label and you'll see, I have some down here. Um, you can also add new ones. So if I wanted this um, for SHS, uh, which is the high school I work at, I could click SHS or I could type something different. I could type math if I just wanted math notes uh, and then close. And on the left side here are all of my labels. And these are shortcuts to my different uh, notes that are categorized under the labels. And you'll see under SHS, here is my notes. So labeling can be very useful for students. They can create labels for every class. They can do it for um, you know pretty much anything that will help them stay organized. Now, if your note is getting really busy, because you can make this go really long, I can add more text, I can add more pictures. Under these three dots that say more, you can copy to Google Docs. Now, this will take a second, but what it will do is it's gonna take all of the stuff that you have in your keep, and let's open up our doc, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's gonna put all that information right into a Google Doc for you. So here's everything, so you don't have to worry about losing it if the note gets too busy. Um, open up a doc, and again, I can do anything I want with this doc. I can share it out with people. I can add stuff, I can take things away. Um, and so it's just a really nice tool because if you change your mind, you're like, oh man, I really wish I made this on the doc, you can change it in a matter of seconds. It's also really important to note that there is a sidebar now, and I can open up Keep right in Google Docs. Uh, the same is also true when I go into my calendar. I can open up Keep as well as my Gmail. So it's all accessible on the right side of these apps. One of the other really great functionalities of Google Keep is the ability to create checklists. Now, I do this personally and professionally. Uh, when you click on new list, what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a checklist for you. So if I had like a bunch of things to do, so let's, we'll put it, call it to-do list. And we'll say, um, you know, item one, 
I go down item two item three and again I can have all the same features as the other one with my reminders collaborators uh, changing colors adding pictures adding drawings uh, but what the difference is is when I close this now I can check items off and again this is really great especially if you have the app on your phone because I can create this list at work get home and I can just start checking things off and once you check things off they show up underneath uh, with a line through them so you know you've already completed them you can clear those out I personally like to keep them there because it gives me a sense of accomplishment so let's say you have a really important thing to do um, so we'll take this uh, note about tomorrow's lessons plan and like I really want to make sure I don't forget this if you go to the top right corner there's a little push pin when you click on that it pins it to the top of your dashboard so now when you go into your Google Keep You'll see all the things that you've selected as being the most important. So you'll see your pinned ones and then underneath are the rest of your notes. So one of the other things you can do from your mobile device is you can add a voice recording. So if I were to click on the little microphone at the bottom, you'll see that it starts picking up everything that I'm saying. And now once I finish, once I stop talking, it will have um, a text transcription of what I said, as well as the actual audio recording. You'll see that it starts picking up everything that I'm saying. Again, this is just another useful tool for your students, especially if you have students who um, have any kind of issues with writing or typing. If it's quicker for them to do a voice recording, then this is a tool that they might use more than some of the other ones. So with all these functionalities, it's easy to see why I'm such a huge fan of Google Keep, both for myself and for my students. I'm actually at the point now where I'm using Keep when I'm in meetings uh, to take notes more often than I'm actually using Google Docs. So I found it super useful. I know my students have found it really helpful for staying organized. Uh, if there's any ways that you might be using Google Keep in your classrooms that I didn't mention that you think other teachers might find helpful, please put them down in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, please feel free to put those in the comments below or reach out to me on Twitter at Dan Spada. For more videos and information, please visit danielspada.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.